Adventure King's 10 foot inflatable sub and I mean you really can't go wrong for the 260 or 80 dollars that it was um, with a bag and pump paddle bloody beauty it's really sturdy it surprised me you pump it up to 15 psi we're gonna give it a go now and we'll report back on a review so I've done a little bit of a testing on this and I found that if you use the temperature mode it uses way more power than if you just use the wattage mode. There are two modes or three modes. There's wattage, power, and there's also timer. Um, the wattage, you can regulate just exactly how much power you're using. Um, the temperature mode seems to just want to go flat out. Um, when I put it on temperature mode, I had less than an hour of battery life left. I've flicked it back to wattage, and that seems to be working perfectly. So yeah, the temperature mode, I guess it would work fine if you actually plugged in a proper main supply, but if you're doing this, I strongly suggest that you continue and only cook in wattage mode. You regulate then exactly how much power you're going to be pulling out of the battery. Temperature mode is going to be hit and miss. It's just going to want to get to that temperature and stay there. Um, how it actually determines is it 180 degrees at the plate or is it 180 degrees in the fry pan? How it knows that, I've got no idea or which way it is. So anyway, what is mine is definitely the way to go. Just going in to try some of the Tin Can Bay fresh seafood. Well, it was pretty hard to decide, so I ended up just getting a small seafood platter. I'll show you guys at sunset.
know, you can't have salsa. Oh, okay. They're not flaming hot. They look hot, but they're not hot. They got a little well, bite, but they creep up on you. I need a new filter on this thing. in skip point it's an absolutely beautiful day there is a little bit of wind um, but yeah great spot for a bit of a cooked brekkie on a late Sunday morning Tourist park. Tourist park, yeah. It's a lot more 
space, you know, basically the other caravan park, you're opening your awning and you had about less than half a foot between your awning and the next caravan, so. Yeah, and this one's got a pool as well, which was nice. Yeah. Quite a nice pool, so. Yeah. yeah. Good pool and a short walk down to the foreshore. Up next, we're going to stop and have some brekkie at a place called Kalula Berries. So, um, strawberry, um, blueberry, I'm not really sure what else. We'll take you along for the ride, but it looks delicious. I'm starving. I'm craving their pancakes, so fingers crossed pancakes are on the menu because I see them online. <laughs> Alright, well, come on for the journey. Frothing for the dog. All right, so we're here at Kalula Berries. Let's go inside. <laughs> we should add there is lots of parking as well, so you can bring your van or whatever setup you may have. Looks really nice. Mm. Doesn't look like there's much growing though. Oh, there's Noosa coffee as well. Hey, how are you? Just a touch of weight, all I need to do. got planted lavender the strawberry harvest has just finished and over here the blueberries are getting ready for the end of December to be picked come and check it out guys it's a really nice spot the food and drinks are delicious they also have a homemade strawberry cider yummo hey. 